You are listening to the daily meditation of the Word of God brought to you by Adal, the Archdiocesan Apostolate of the Laity in the Archdiocese of Douala. Lord, may your Spirit dwell on my mind and in my heart as I ponder your word today for the greater glory of your name. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel chapter 24 verses 15 to 24. The word of Yahweh was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, at the blow I am about to deprive you of the delight of your eyes. But you are not to lament, not to weep, not to let your tears run down. Groan in silence. Do not go into mourning for the dead. Not your turban around your head. Put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your beard. Do not eat the usual food. I told this to the people in the morning, and my wife died in the evening. And the next morning, I did as I had been ordered. The people said to me, Will you not explain what meaning these actions have for us? I replied, The word of Yahweh has been addressed to me as follows. Say to the house of Israel, The Lord Yahweh says this, I am about to profane your sanctuary, the pride of your strength, the delight of your eyes, the joy of your heart. Your sons and daughters whom you have left behind will fall to the sword. Then you will do as I have done. You will not cover your beard or eat the usual food. The word of the Lord. For the past eight weeks, the lectionary has taken us through some of the main prophets of the Bible. The book of Ezekiel concludes this series of reading. This week, then, we shall be nourished by the last chapters of the book of Prophet Ezekiel. In today's reading, Ezekiel prophesies about himself. His prophecy gets really personal. His personal loss, the loss of his wife, becomes God's way of talking to his people. Le prophète Ezekiel perd son épouse, comme le Seigneur lui avait annoncé d'avance. Toutefois, il ne pleure pas, il ne met pas d'habit de deuil. Puis encore, il commence sa journée comme il en avait l'habitude. C'est certainement un signe, un message pour les fils d'Israël qui voulaient à tout prix comprendre l'attitude du prophète face à la mort et surtout face à la mort de son épouse. C'est ainsi que le prophète annonce la destruction du temple. Face à l'ennemi, face à la destruction du temple, les fils d'Israël seront choqués. Même les pleurs seront impossibles, car la douleur sera si grande. En parlant de son malheur à lui, la mort de son épouse, Ézéchiel renvoie le peuple à lui-même, à sa propre misère, au malheur qui s'attire par son idolâtrie et par sa promiscuité. Chers frères et sœurs, nous aussi vivons dans une société de déchéance morale et de promiscuité. Il est souvent plus facile de se pencher sur la poutre dans l'œil des autres, négligeant la planche que nous-mêmes nous traînons sur tout le visage. Our newspapers today are a shame. The bare news of scandals, national scandals, that give us something to talk about, to gossip about. Financial scandals of corruption, moral scandals of abuse of power and of promiscuity, 
political scandals and different forms of human misery that we rejoice about in our society simply because they expose people and make us feel good about ourselves. Like to the people of Israel, the message from Ezekiel warns, do not get comfortable with other people's misery. Do not feel at home with shocking stories that you hear about other people. We are not better than those whose life end up in scandal, in great loss or in failure. The difference between you and them is just a matter of time and of circumstances. In other words, the bad habit, the sin, the evil that we pick out in other people's life and rejoice about and talk about and gossip about are the very sins on which we often sit and on which we have built our lives. The difference is just that ours are not known in public. Our Lord tells us in the Gospels, do not judge and you will not be judged. Spiritual maturity consists in asking God for the wisdom to understand always that we ourselves are fragile and in need of repentance to see our own misery rather than judge those of others. Prions le Seigneur. Seigneur, je te rends grâce pour le message du prophète Ézéchiel qui ouvre ma semaine. Dans mon lieu de service, dans ma vie commune, dans la société qui m'entoure, je suis entouré par toutes sortes de scandales moraux, professionnels abus de pouvoir. Moi, Seigneur, j'aimerais te servir en paix. En paix. Oui, en paix, conscient de mes propres torts et moins porté à juger les autres. Amen. Que Dieu Tout-Puissant vous bénisse, le Père, le Fils et le Saint-Esprit, avec Michael Chumbo de la Dalle.